There we go. Oh yeah, there we go. Decent little perch. Nice way to start. Ah, oh, tell you what, I'm out here with uh, Tony Roach today, and we're doing what we call transition perch. We're running and gunning, and we're just chasing these guys all up and down these big, uh, shallow tapering flats and the fish have been out using the mud in the deep basin areas feeding on uh, little perch and all kinds of different variety of things but what started to happen now is that they're starting to feed on mayflies and when that happens some of the best fishing of the year occurs but you got to keep moving and so we're just drilling holes not spending more than oh two three minutes per hole and uh, hopefully by the end of the day we'll end up with a nice batch of fish like that Here's one coming. Man, he came flying up. There he is. All right. Boy, when these perch come in here to feed on bugs, boy, they're just moving faster. Oh, look at that beauty. They're real aggressive. They'll come up and smack that spoon. I mean, they put the feed bag on when they move into these transition areas. I gotta get back down there. There's an absolute Christmas tree. Call these big schools that come in, they light up like Christmas trees, so man, he inhaled that thing. There we go. Here we go, Corey, I've got a few of them down there. Not quite a hornet's nest, but oh yeah, nice fish. What do you got? Oh, nice yeah. little jumbo there. Nice job, all right. We finally found a few, huh? Yeah. I'll tell you what, these wintertime perch like this in this transition time, it's really pretty interesting. It's uh. It's going to be a lot of work at times moving up and down here, but when you find them, like you said, there's probably more down there and they kind of Christmas tree up on you. But what are they doing? I mean, what are they feeding on right here? Well, right in this particular area, it's mayfly nymphs. You know, they, they migrate from all over the lake to come in here for strictly for food, really. They're developing eggs right now, so they've got to feed very rapidly. Yep. And they're, all they're doing is they're picking up mayfly nymphs and moving on. So that way we fish spoons, we fish fast, we call it. We just go from hole to hole to hole until you find somewhat of a hornet's nest on your graph. Drop down and you keep pulling these jumbos out. Look at how high they'll come in the water column here. Come up to meet that jig. There we go, that feels a little bit better. You know, they'll come screaming up in the water column just to meet that jig. They see that falling from a ways away. And they'll come up and nail that jig. And it's nice when you're using that red larva because it stays on the hook very nicely. So if you do get that big hornet's nest or Christmas tree, you can get down there fast. You get back on that school before they lose interest and move on. I think I hit the X over here, Tony. <laughs> Not just a respectable little eater, but Nice perch. I tell you what, that's the thing. Tony hit a, a few fish over there, and I basically just surrounded him with holes. Um, and this is the fourth hole in that vicinity, and we got a little bit of a, an activity center right here. There we go. Oh, not too bad. Not a huge one. I can't even grab them here. There we go. Again, not a monster, but. They're really aggressive when they're in here feeding on these bugs. And again, they're moving around fast. They're feeding quickly on these spoons. Like Cordy alluded to, not only are they feeding on bugs, they're feeding on all sorts of minnows. They'll even eat smaller perch. So a lot of times I jig really aggressively to get them to come up and just get them in on the screen, you know, because they are just roaming around here at random. They're not clinging tight to any structure. So the more erratic you can get with your jigging, pounding the silt, bringing it up slow, the more likely you're gonna bring those fish in to exact, your exact location. 